Hey GED students, we are working on the beginning level practice of the basic operations. That is unit zero, lesson one of the crash course. And we are looking at, let's see, number 36 from the beginning level practice. It says, write the sum of 99 and 105 as an arithmetic expression. Okay. Uh, the worksheet said, translate each of the following phrases into an arithmetic expression. Um, write, translate, same difference. What am I asking you to do if I'm asking you to write an arithmetic expression? Guys, I'm not asking you to find the sum of 99 and 105. I'm asking you to write it, to translate it into the language of math. That's it. I don't want you to use words. Instead, I want you to use the symbols like we do in math class. And that's all I'm asking you to do. All right. And a lot of students get, really struggle with this word expression. And that's because you guys use a wrong word. You guys use the word problem. <laughs> I'm asking you to write the math problem. Not really. It's called an expression. Uh, but, you know, I want to speak your language too. All right. So what is the math problem? The expression indicated by this phrase, the sum of 99 and 105. Well, the first key word is the one I circled there, sum. What does sum tell me? The sum tells me an addition expression or it's simplified, as you think of it, answer. But they told me to write the expression. So I'm just going to write the expression with the plus sign and the numbers that they're telling me to sum. So what is the sum? The sum of 99 and 105. That's it. That's all they're asking me to do. And if you look at the directions on the worksheet, it even says do not simplify. Just in case you misunderstood me, don't do the addition. Don't actually do the math. Just write it out. That's all I'm asking you to do. Speak in my language. Now, some of you guys might have written in the other order, like you might have written 105 plus 99 because it makes you happier when, you know, the bigger number comes first. Doesn't matter. These two things mean the exact same thing. We're both right. What I don't want you to do is write it like this, like they used to in elementary school. That is not an expression. That is side work. That's how we just write our numbers in our scratch work in order to um, do computations by hand. Uh, it's a good way to organize your numbers in order to do that logically, but it is not how we write in math class. It's not our expression. So a lot of algebra is learning math grammar. So there you go. Either one of those two expressions I work, I wrote would work. Um, if you have any questions about that, kind of that difference between what an expression is and what our scratch work is, please drop that in the comments because I think that's a big sticking point for a lot of students. And that's not all. You could drop any question you have about this, GED math, whatever, in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it. Or if I can, I don't know, I'll just ignore it. No, just teasing you. <laughs> I'll try to find the answer. All right, you guys, happy learning.